All right, we're checking out the Egrotech Plume 300 watt portable power station. And for those of you guys that were looking for something a little bit smaller, more portable, um, also a, with a pretty good price, this one is going to cover a lot of those check boxes. So this one here, very tiny for you know a power station that has a 300 watt uh, pure sine wave inverter. Uh, has 260 watt hours of capacity and plenty of ports here, which we'll talk about here momentarily. It's um, the dimensions I put up on the screen. It's like um, two, by, a little under two inches in height and about nine and a half inches by six and a half inches. So uh, quite small in dimensions, very easy to carry around. Uh, on the product page, they show this like people putting this over their shoulders, uh, you know, like hiking and stuff. And this could include a shoulder strap. I'll show you that here in a second. It weighs like 4.7 pounds, so you know, very light as well. And just to show you the rest of the stuff that comes with it, uh, I'll show you the specs here in the manual. Uh, you get a USB C to USB C cable that's uh, rated to 60 watts. And then you have a charger. So, this is how you would charge well, one, of the, well, one of the ways you can charge. Uh, the power station via AC. It's a 20 volt, 3.2 amp hour, 64 watts power adapter. And you also get a car charging cable so you can charge up this power station inside your car. And uh, this one does come with the, uh, these are 55 21 barrel connectors. It does include a shoulder strap as well. But I elected to put on the, this nice little leather handle. This is going to be fine for most situations. Quick look at the manual. Just come, you know, it looks really big, but it comes in multiple languages. Here's a quick look at the specs. Uh, 300 watt pure sine wave inverter. Here you can see the different uh, USB outputs, C and A. You have um, DC output on, a, on the second uh, connector. It's 12 volts, 3 amps, 36 watts. I'll show you that here on the power station momentarily. But the uh, maximum total discharge power for uh, AC and DC is going to be 501 watts total altogether. And something important to note is that the USB-C one port does not work when the uh, DC 5521 port is being uh, inputted. So if you have anything connected to the uh, this input port here, then the uh, USB-C uh, this this one here does not work. So. We'll just go ahead and talk about all the ports here. Start off here on the right. You have a DC in 100 watts on this one here. So when you have either solar panels plugged into here or the car charger or the uh, AC wall adapter plugged into this port here, which is rated up to 100 watts, then this USB-C port, the C1 port, does not work. And this C1 port here does have input and output up to 100 watts, so you can also charge this power station via USB-C uh, up to 100 watts, and I did do that. I've got a uh, 100 watt rated USB-C charger, like this, and just uses the USB-C cable. So I was getting just a little bit under 100 watts, like 98-ish to 95-ish watts on this port, but you can't use both at the same time. It would be nice if you could do it both at the same time, but unfortunately on this version you can't do that. The DC port over here is output only and only up to 36 watts. And then the second USB-C port is output only as well. It's not full uh, power delivery. It only goes up to 20 watts and 12 volts. And then you have two USB-A ports here that can output up to 22 and a half watts. Got a nice little display here. Go ahead and power this on, long press the power button. And there's our display. Basically pretty simple stuff here. Got your battery meter, 100%. Uh, tells you how long it's gonna run based on the amount of power that's being drawn, which is right now zero, and this is 99 hours. Uh, as this power output goes up, then you'll see this reduction in terms of uh, time on power. And then uh, to turn on the inverter, you have to press the AC on off button. Here's your AC plug here, 300 watts sine wave, pure sine wave inverter. You've got a, a vent here, that's for I think air input. But then on the back, you've got two fans. I think it blows air out on both sides. You've got an LED here, and you just uh, to turn the power station on first. Okay, it's on. And then you long press this button here, we'll turn on the light. Six different modes, you have basically low beam or uh, low light level. 
a mid light level and a high light level and I think on and the high uh, light level, it's only drawing two watts, so not very much. And then you got your standard, uh, you know, SOS mode. Start flashing. You get a quick flashing mode, and then uh, another type of flashing pattern here. So six, three different flashing patterns and three different brightness levels. And then long press to turn this off. So nothing on the right side. Got your handle here on the left side. In the bottom here you have your rubber feet and then you have your specifications. So as I mentioned, there's uh, four different ways you can charge this up. USB-C uh, power delivery up to 100 watts. You can charge it up to 100 watts on this DC5521 barrel plug. Uh, the, Of course, the included AC adapter uh, can only go up to 65 watts, but when I tried it out, I was getting like roughly 55 to 60 watts. So it's a little bit less than what it, you would expect from that wall adapter. And I said, as I mentioned before, I was getting like, you know, 98 to 95 watts on USB-C on, on my adapter. Can also charge it via the car adapter. I did not actually test that, but um, it's up only at 100 watts max. I think some cars can put out more. I think like uh, 120, it's like, I think it's uh, uh, 120 watts, I saw some, some cars, maybe even more, but it's gonna be limited to 100 watts max on the this DC5521 barrel plug. And of course you can charge it via solar panels, uh, up to 100 watts of course. It does have a MPPT uh, solar charge controller built in. And in my test I was getting on my 100 watt solar panel, uh, roughly 80, 85 watts. Uh, pretty uh, normal for a 100 watt solar panel. Okay, so I'm gonna just do a little quick uh, demonstration here of the uh, power output here. Uh, I'm gonna start plugging in stuff and then we'll look at uh, what the output power is uh, as we start plugging in things. So, so I'll start off with something small on the 22 and a half watt output power on the USB uh, A here. So I've got a USB A cable and then we'll charge up this other power you know, our power bank here and start charging this up here and it shows you what little icon shows up here as to what port is being utilized and now we're drawing this is drawing 17 watts and from this particular port all right got another power bank here and we'll plug this into the USB-C 20 watt output port All right, so now we see we're up to about 37 watts. All right, so next we'll plug in a laptop. I'm gonna plug this into the uh, 100 watt port. And now we see that we're drawing 87 watts with all these different ports active. And now our total power on time has dropped to about two hours. All right, next we're gonna uh, turn on the AC inverter going to turn on this heat gun here. This is rated for 320 watts, but it's a, I think in practice it's a little bit less than that, so this should be able to handle it. All right, I'm going to turn it on and I'm going to mute the audio here because it's going to be really loud. You can watch the power up here on the screen. As you saw there, it went a little over 400 watts total output power. So yeah, I mean, obviously I wasn't able to plug in some more stuff here to get it to 500 watts. But I think once it hits the 500 watts, I think some of the uh, protections are gonna kick in. You, if you plug in something on the AC that goes over 300 watts consistently, I think it will uh, kick off the AC inverter. It does have all your standard BMS protections here. I'll put up on the screen what those are like over voltage protection, you know, short circuit protection, etc. Anyway, overall, I think it's a pretty good product, especially for the price. It's $199 plus a $30 coupon currently on Amazon. If you're watching this far in the future, uh, who knows what the price might be. There might be a bigger coupon, might be even cheaper. Uh, generally speaking, a lot of these are have been coming down in price over the last year or so. So, um, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if this is hitting the you know, sub $150, you know, $150 price point at some point, in which point, you know, it's a pretty good deal. I haven't seen anything else in this kind of size with these capabilities yet. So, you know, if you're looking for something that's nice and portable, but with a lot of capabilities, um, and you don't need, you know, the giant 2000 watt inverter, then this is definitely, uh, definitely something you want to check out. Again, I'll put the link in the video description if you guys want to check it out. That'll do for this video. Talk to you guys in the next one.